All right, BebCorp here with the BebCorp channel, where we're all Jews harps all the time. Well, not all the time, but most of the time. We have time for oolong tea. We have time for beer, and we have time for hobnobbery. But what we're making time for today is the BebCorp technique of the week. Here today, we're going to be talking about beginner's techniques. We're going to be talking about tongue orientation and mouth shape and how they affect the sound that the jaw harp makes. All right, let's kick it off. Now, we've got our jaw harps. We know how to hold it. What else can we do with it? We've learned how to pluck and make simple sounds. But that in and of itself is kind of boring. It's not a song. It is a pretty cool noise, but not quite a song. So let's learn how the tongue affects how the jaw harp plays. Now, one thing we can do is as we're plucking our jaw harp, take your tongue and waggle it back and forth and we'll see how that sounds. Now, sounds kind of like a sound effect from an old cartoon. Now, every different place that you, you move your tongue, the jaw harp will sound a little bit different. Just as the different ways you move your mouth will make the jaw harp play a little bit different as well. So, if you move your tongue up, it'll make a hollow sound. Take your tongue, press it to the roof of your mouth, and pluck it and see how it sounds. Sound of a, sort of a hollow sound, kind of like a bell. Now, pluck the jaw harp and see how it sounds with your tongue all the way at the bottom. You can move your tongue all around your mouth. You can also change the shape of your mouth to change the cavity that the jaw harp resonates in to ultimately change the noise. Let's just try a few different things. Try and open up your mouth a little bit after you hit the, the reed of the jaw harp. Opening it a little bit further makes it sound a little bit more hollow. Now close your mouth a little bit. Let's see how that sounds. Now, in that instance, I opened my mouth and I closed it, kind of causing the sound to waver. And in addition to closing my mouth, I pushed my tongue forward to get that little sort of sound effect. Now, let's try opening the corner of our mouth. Now, it helps when you're doing that just to kind of wink. When you open up the corner of your mouth, Bring, your, bring this side of your face up almost like you're winking. And with these few techniques, we can kind of put a rhythm together and make a simple little song. Let's move our tongue and open up the corners of our mouth every time we hit it. All right, we went from learning how to hold the jaw harp to now knowing how to pluck it inward and outward, and now we know a little bit of tongue movement and a little bit of mouth movement to go along with the harp. Take these techniques, play around with them, have some fun, try to replicate noises you hear throughout your day, and go ahead and make yourself a fun little song using these very simple techniques. That is the Beb Corp Technique of the Week. Please hit like, share, and subscribe. Thank you, and have a wonderful afternoon. Oh, 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 oh,